Welcome everybody, RC here with Mia McCormick and Ajna Adams of Kelby One. We wanted to have a conversation with you about Periscope, Meerkat, streaming wars, all of this kind of stuff. You're beginning to hear a lot of stuff that talks about real-time content streaming. So we figured it'd be a good idea to kind of give you a, an overview and a couple of things that you can consider to make sure that this real-time content you're doing sticks. Now, I'll just start off with an overview for this stuff, okay? Yep. All right, so we have Meerkat and Periscope. Both of them, you click on a button, it streams real time. The only difference between that, Meerkat, poof, the stream goes away. Periscope stays for 24 hours. Meerkat connected to Twitter, Periscope owned by Twitter. Whichever one stays is immaterial. I think that the bigger conversation that we have here is that real-time content, live streaming for everybody's here to stay. Absolutely. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of bring these two in to weigh in on this kind of conversation because they have some stuff to say. Now, Aja, you are our social media director here right, at the company. Correct. And you deal with social media stuff. Right. Facebook, Twitter, and things like that. Mm -hmm. How are you using this real-time content to work for you? Well, I mean, I, I got to start out by saying we were so excited that um, real-time content is is an option now. But um, we now offer real-time tips. Okay. So. Uh, you know, people are right there, they're learning tips, they're um, engaging with the instructor in real time. The other thing that we do is something called Inspire Me Monday, and we do that with Mia. And um, what I love about this app is that now, instead of um, repurposing content that we've already had, we're able to um, do it in real time, right. so. Yeah, so you have an opportunity to not only get a little bit of inspiration, but get it exactly when you need it. Right, exactly. And then so. people can engage with Mia and right. so people love to do that. We can right. have a live chat about it. Right, That's exactly. Right. Now listen, speaking of live chat, we have Scott Kelby on right now doing a Periscope from Amsterdam. So it's a great way for us to kind of take a look at how this actually works. Take a look. Hey, so uh, Dave Clayton said, uh, uh, just <laughs> said, say hi to Bert and Terry. I'm about to have dinner with uh, Terry White from Adobe Systems and Bert Monroy and Frank Doerhoff all here. But uh, what we love about this uh, technology is there's a lot of times that we're out doing something or doing a shoot. Um, like tomorrow, I'll be teaching here at Pro Imaging in Amsterdam, and uh, I can just have somebody grab my phone and capture part of my uh, presentation live as we're doing things here, which uh, that would be really you know cost prohibitive to be able to do that. But with this technology, we can pretty much, wherever we go, just broadcast and teach from wherever we are in the world, which I think is kind of fun and kind of cool. Um, today, I actually went to a, a guitar store, and we were going to jam in this guitar store, but the staff was uh, not exactly, didn't think it was as cool an idea as we thought it was. In fact, I've never been to a guitar store where the guitars had a lock over them. Like, you couldn't take them out and even play them. They all had locks on them. So... Uh, so anyway, but, um, you know, as a photographer, one of the things I plan on using uh, this for is to be able to, when I'm doing a shoot on location or anywhere, to be able to stream it live and have people uh, be able to see what we're doing as we're doing it um, and, be, and use it as a teaching tool. I think it's an awesome, awesome teaching tool. I mean, obviously, it's a lot of fun and it's, you know, things like that, but... Uh, really, it's, I think it's an amazing teaching tool that we can take anywhere where we are. Um, I wasn't able to fly a camera crew here tomorrow, but I'll still be able to broadcast uh, parts of my presentations for the next two days. Hey, so uh, somebody asked how Amsterdam is. Amsterdam is awesome. We went, uh, Frank was able to uh, negotiate us to get into a restricted area to shoot inside this amazing five-story library. And it's a research library, so the public is allowed to come in and just kind of look over the railing. But we were able to get into an area where I could shoot with a fisheye and uh, shoot with a 14 millimeter really wide lens and get some uh, HDR type shots, not to make it look all crazy HDR, but to be able to capture the light coming through the window and the whole place. So that was actually pretty cool. I really, uh, we got a kick out of that. So there you go. <laughs> that a, was really, great. a really quick way for us to kind of see live how one could use Periscope. Now, Mia. You come to this with a different background, right? So you have a background in live TV mm -hmm. and journalism. Right. So when we were talking about this, I was like, I bet you have some ways to kind of help us kind of make sense of all of this. Right, so Scott's a big personality and one way that they can use it is to be able to chat live with your audience and connect in a new way. But right. it's also a great way to show off rare content or stuff that's behind the scenes or that maybe mm -hmm. you only get to see. Think if you're right. like a concert photographer and you get backstage, you're one of the only people that get to see that. That's interesting. So being able to showcase interesting aspects of what you do behind the scenes of a photo shoot, the next big ad campaign, that could yeah. be really cool stuff to show. Okay. You 
can also show off live events, things that are happening, you know, as you speak, right. or rare, like, special moments that you have. Think of, like, a swim meet. If your kid's in a swim meet, you can share it with grandparents. They can see it live happening. Who wins? There's something to that, to be able to get that. that special and yeah. rare. And it's authentic. It's okay. real. It's unedited. And I think that's important. Nice. So you, so this could be something you can see at conferences. Absolutely. And seminars and things like that. So that's, that's a good thing. Now, so special and rare, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. How else can we take this content and make it stickier, make it more dense, make it beneficial to the people that are watching? So there's going to be a lot of noise out there, mm -hmm. just like when social media started. Right. You know, there's a lot of different voices adding to this conversation. How do you stand out, especially if you're going to use it in a business sense? And I would say have your talking points ready beforehand. Know what you're going to say and hit those bullets. Also, yep. show something interesting. This is video. This is not just chat anymore, right? Or even images. Show something interesting that's unfolding in front of you how many times can you see like bad lighting of yourself right. doing you know you want to show something that really a, grabs a attention yeah. exactly and keep it short more concise that kind of leads people to want to watch you again you know you don't want it to drag on perfect now, right we want to be able to hear what you have to say so leave us a comment below tell us what you would want to do to make your conversation in Periscope or Meerkat beneficial what kind of tips can you give us what kind of things do you want to see now, if you also want to follow us as well, we have links down below where you can kind of follow all of our social profiles and hopefully we can answer all of your streaming questions. Take care, everybody. We'll see you guys Bye. soon.